Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dan of the GNU Podcast, also known as Gaming Nonsense Uncensored. Today, I'm going to be showing you three of my favorite things from the Broken Token. Now, Lords of Waterdeep is one of my favorite games ever. It's also one of my most beat-up games. Uh, we've had to tape the box, everything else. This thing has been played more than anything else in our collection. Absolutely love this game. So, what's nice about the Broken Token inserts is everything fits perfect has a nice little home, cut etches for the board. Now this is the interior, right? You get nice little wooden divides for all the bits. You got all your player colors right up here in the front. The cards, you know, everything has a home, which is fantastic. And because these are all adjustable, you can divide it by the expansions. You can like, see they come out just like that. You can divide the stuff up by the expansions. You can fit your cards even if they're sleeved. You have a lot of options with this thing, right? Um, what we do is we threw up some of our extra tokens in the front one here. And the reason is because one of the other things a broken token offers is acrylic D&D bowls, right? So you have your cleric. Uh, here's your wizard. You also have your robes, which, you know, you'll actually see the little double dagger, and you have your fighters with their nice little barbarian helmet and swords. What's nice about the Dean Deeples is it adds a little more theme to your game. So instead of giving me two orange cubes and a white cube, it's like you actually ask for clerics and warriors and wizards and all that other stuff now. Now... The reason why we got rid of these is recently the Broken Token has offered another awesome upgrade. You can get the Mega Meeples to show as the five. So here's your single and here's your five count dude. These things are awesome because again, handing in this makes it feel more dry Euro. You know, because this is just like, oh, it's just a shit that shows five. But going, I will use my five wizards who has formed Wizardron or Wizardstate or, you know, this just makes a nice little touch. The other thing is they also upgraded the little skull tokens to be this nice little acry uh, acrylic, right? You know, we kept our original ones here. These things are nice too because, like, they're a nice little wood component, but these also look, like, a little creepier. They're nice, you know, these are the upgrades for the corruption, now the final upgrade is one of my favorites, and it is Lords of Waterdeep coins, right? Now, if you take a look at this coin, you'll see it has amazing detail. Not that coin, this coin. Has amazing detail, right? It's like nice etchings. You know, you can see a lot of detail to this, and they're the exact shape of the Lords of Waterdeep coins. These are the five pieces which are unbelievable, you know? And there's just something about the heft of these. I mean, you can hear them. They are nice. They are really heavy coins. And this really, I mean, this ultimately really helps it. Uh, this is not available from Broken Token. We just used some of the red acrylic gems that we got from uh, like Vampire Rain or some like craft store or something. We use these for our victory points instead of the tokens too. But the insert is great because, oh, you're playing? Well, let's just break out this, throw this on the middle of the table. And now we have our victory points. These are some 10 pieces that we use in our six player games because the money gets so high. But like, you know, here's our corruption. Here's our extra pieces. Here's all the tokens for the characters. You just throw this at the top of the board and everything is accessible. And if somebody needs something, you can just hand them the tray instead of, you know, it makes the game just go like a little quicker, a little smoother, which is great when you're playing five and six player. These setups are fantastic because you can divide it by the expansions. We always play everything, you know. So we like to use all the intrigue, all the quest, all the buildings. We don't usually play the base game unless it's somebody's very, very first time. But if you want to divide them by the expansions, you can have uh, Undermountain here, Skull Park here, and then the base game. Since these are adjustable, you sleeve them. You can adjust these to the sizes. It makes the playing a lot quicker. Recently, Broken Token also upgraded these to be individual removable. So you can just hand somebody their player starting set. 
this was never really an issue for us because why somebody's putting the boards together and laying out the victory, somebody's handing out the, somebody else is handing out starting money. Um, we believe if everyone's playing the game, everyone helps chip in to get it ready. But ultimately, the broken token stuff is awesome. I absolutely love how it just fits together, you know? Like, uh, the space is through the roof. Let me just fix my little cluster over here that's serving no purpose. But, and what's great is, like I said, you know, when you're done, throw the board on top. This helps keep everything secure for when you're transporting it. And then all your boards and everything on the top, you'll notice it just forms like a nice flush layer, right? And then top fits on perfect. Like you'll notice like there's no lift, you know? So this way when I transport this thing, like, oh, it's bouncing around, whatever, you know? And when we get there and we break it out, you know, like two victory gems bounce around. I can deal with that. So anyway, those are the upgrades that are available from Broken Token. That company is awesome. We were really happy to pick this stuff up. Everything in total did come at a little bit of a price. The coins were the most expensive, but for us, it was worth it. So we just wanted to let you know to check that company out, see some of their other products. Um, the Battlestar Club one is really recommended. The Dead of Winter one, we got to play with that. Um, that was great for setup too. So if you have a favorite game and you're always breaking it out, Broken Token is a great solution to getting it to play faster and store easier. So you can hit them up at thebrokentoken.com and you can always find us on Facebook. Uh, we are facebook.com slash gamingnonsenseuncensored and you can always find us on Twitter at GNU Podcast. All right, have a good one, guys. Take care.